Platinum Games. You know these guys from such greats as Bayonetta, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, Vanquish, Neo Automata, Babylon's Four. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not this one. Yeah, we'll just forget about that one. Platinum Games are certainly master crafters when it comes to action oriented hack and slash type titles. These guys have been crafting some of the best hack and slash games in the entire industry since the late early 2000s. With Bayonetta definitely being the most reputable on top of Nier Automata blowing people's minds into a cultural phenomenon. Now you're probably well aware of most of the Platinum Games library, but what if I were to tell you that you probably don't know of one game that they ended up releasing back in 2021, a pretty decent play known as World of Demons. Now don't swear it too much, there's a good reason why you probably don't know about this game, and that's because it released exclusively for Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade? What the f- Are probably your thoughts exactly. Yeah, it is frustrating when a game exclusively releases over on Apple Arcade because, really honestly speaking, no one wants to have to pay a subscription game service for iPhone. Especially if it is a game coming from a well-known development studio, there are quite a lot of exclusive titles for Apple Arcade. I know that a lot of people want Fantasian to come to other platforms. This is actually from the very original Final Fantasy creator. And the game is simply gorgeous. It is definitely something to dribble over. This is of course a ploy for Apple in order to entice people into subbing to their service. This is the best way to get people on board with a game sub service. I mean, hell, it worked for me, right? I've subbed to Apple Arcade three times in the past before for different reasons, but actually mainly for World of Demons. Hearing about a Platinum Games exclusively coming to the iPhone, looking like it's taking the framework of that of Nier Automata, uh, topped off with an Okami type Art style? Are you kidding me? Sign me up! This game was originally unveiled back in 2018 though, uh, under the same name and pretty much looked almost similar, though some things did end up getting reworked. It was meant to be a free-to-play game, still for that of mobile phones. It was tested out in a few regions of the world, and then after that test, no word. It kinda lay dormant. I suppose sometime in 2020 or 2021, Apple approached Platinum Games and they figured out a deal to basically rework it a little bit and launch it exclusively on the platform. Well, this game certainly isn't one of Platinum Games' best. It is definitely a half what decent hack and slash, especially if you consider the fact that this is a mobile phone title. One that would definitely, to be fair, translate well being on other platforms, especially for the likes of Switch. The game itself doesn't really do anything new, it's just that to be expected really good feeling Platinum Games combat, along with the S Plus Platinum Games' dodging system found in some of their other titles infused into the mix here with a perfect dodging system that feels so rewarding and so good to pull off. For the 11 hours it took me to beat the main story of the game, I thoroughly enjoyed this. The story is simple here, you are Onimaru and he is on a quest now to defeat the King of Demons. This game lives up to the name, it is literally World of Demons, and this game has a lot of demons, known as Yokai. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of demons in this game. That's the whole thing and premise of the game. You fight demons, when you kill said demon, you get demon's power. You can then equip demon's power. You can equip two different yokai powers from the menu, also upgrade them as well as the weapons that you equip. Your two equipped yokai will go on cooldown when used, but you also have additional other yokai slots to pick up the yokai powers and use them uh, in each said mission as you defeat enemies. And the demon designs in this game are really cool. They're very varied, like he's a pretty cool looking dude, look at him, like look, look at this one, look at this cute little fella, he's, he's kind of neat, and what, what the f*** is this? What, has he got an eye coming out his bum? What the, <laughs> and wait, is this a teapot man? What's, what's going on here, dude? Yeah, there's a lot of yokai. Again, it lives up to its name of World of Demons, and the designs here are fantastic. I think Platinum Games did a really good job 
of capturing a lot of the Japanese folklore. There's an element wheel in this game with some elements being stronger against others and resisting to that of others too. So it's all about equipping your yokai deck and weapons that also have element types to match the type of yokai that you'll go up against for each mission. There are also these really strong yokai team attacks known as merge arts. Two yokai can be activated at the same time to perform a unique attack. Most of these are incredibly strong and it's a matter of seeing exactly which yokai are able to do this with one another, represented by both of the yokai abilities glowing in the heads up display. Some of these are nuts, like ridiculously strong. This one, for example, basically works as a yokai mega flare. Decimates anything on the field. As I was saying, it took me about like 11 hours to beat the game's main story. The game is comprised of four chapters and within each chapter is multiple missions. The structure of the game is pretty straightforward. It's the typical hack and slash structure and progression where you go into a mission, there's a little bit of exploration, but it's pretty linear for the most part. You'll come across these little darkness portal things, walk into them, you engage in combat, some yokai will come out to try slap that ass. As I said, there's like a little bit of exploration, you will come across hidden areas as you progress through each of the stages that are hidden by this sort of smoke dust stuff. And there are other unique interactable things within each stage where you are required to use a specific yokai power against that environmental thing in order to then be rewarded with money and materials to be able to upgrade all of your stuff further. There are also other playable characters here. You've got four in total and you'll unlock them and meet them as you progress through the game's story. Uh, the three other playable characters each have their own unique playstyle too in the way that they attack as well as in the way that they dodge. Each playable character also only has access to different specific types of weapon elements so you'll be constantly rearranging your party setup, changing in and out the weapons that they're equipped with, what playable character you're using as well as the yokai to go along with that. For each mission, it will always tell you what element type of yokai you're going to be pitted against. Beyond just progressing through the main stages, every single mission also has submissions that you can engage in once you've finished that initial playthrough of the mission itself. And these provide extra additional challenges and means to be able to level up. The game also has that classic sort of Bayonetta type uh, combat grading system intertwined into it. Each time you finish up a combat sequence, you'll be graded on your performance in regards to how many hits you've strung together, how much damage you've received, and the time it took you to finish that combat sequence. The way that the game ends though is sort of strange, like you come across the king of demons and you defeat him and he like runs away and then the game ends on to be continued and then you're sort of sitting there scratching your head like, okay, uh, what? It's basically almost as if Platinum Games planned to uh, release additional content for World of Demon. Of course, it's been almost three years since the initial release of the game back in 2021, and there has been no updates applied to this whatsoever. The main reason, though, why I'm making a video talking about World of Demons, aside from the fact that I enjoyed my time with this, and I think more people need to know about this Platinum Games hidden gem, is that Platinum Games are removing this. They are deleting this. There will soon be no way to play this game. On the 5th of January this year, Platinum Games issued a blog post for World of Demons saying, this game will no longer be available to download on Apple Arcade as of January 18th, so tomorrow. And on February 1st, downloads of the game will become unavailable to play. One day left to sub to Apple Arcade and download this game. You'll then have up to February 1st to get the most out of the game possible because by that point you will not even be able to access the app itself. F digital. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that World of Demons is gone forever. To begin with, uh, there will be some people that will likely save the APK file of the game and by hacked means you will probably be able to still play it, but most people aren't going to go through the numerous layers in order to do that, right? And we're talking about a an official distribution of the game. It's pretty wild that they're just deciding to delete it and that there will be no way to play it. The thing is, Platinum Games haven't released any information on whether or not this game is going to get ported to other systems. And it's quite possible that the contract between both Platinum and Apple is coming to an end. Another 
Another thing that should be known is games are required to receive regular updates if they are on Apple Arcade. The Ghost Platinum games have quite literally not updated this game since its launch. This could be disgruntling Apple and forcing them to actually remove the game from the service. Now I played this game not with touch controls because <laughs> rather with a backbone plugged in with physical controls. I played it as if I was playing a game on my Switch and it worked an absolute treat. Hence why I was saying before that this game would be so greatly translated over to that of the Switch. It's a fantastic portable platinum title. It's a damn shame too because this is actually a half what decent game, especially if you are a fan of what Platinum Games does. It's just another one of those really solid shut your mind off type action hack and slash titles. However, we should definitely use this as a prime example as to why digital, as much as it does have its perks and benefits, is most certainly inferior to that of physical releases. And yes, I'm sorry, but I am definitely that guy. Whenever you purchase a digital game, what you're essentially doing is you're purchasing a license in order to be able to access that said game. By a technical definition, you don't actually own the game itself, just access to it. The situation is a little bit different here with a game that's on a subservice. You're essentially just uh, paying to get access to a subservice, but it makes it even worse if the only method of being able to access certain games is via that subservice. If in case then that game is removed from the service, how is anyone ever meant to access that content? You can't just outright buy it, like the situation we're seeing here with World of Demons. You literally can't buy this. The only way to access it is via Apple Arcade. Now don't stress too much though, because there are situations of games being exclusive to that of Apple Arcade, for the likes of Shantae. A certain Shantae game was exclusive to the service for quite some time. Once the contract then expired, it made its way to other platforms. So fingers crossed, the same happens here with World of Demons. Maybe once the service has closed on Apple Arcade, Platinum Games might then follow up with more information on a port, an extended version, because it definitely seems as if when you finish the game, there is more content that's supposed to be there. Uh, they'll end up doing a bigger version of the game for other systems. However guys, that is all for today. I wanted to bring this to more people's attention, mainly because I am a fan of Platinum Games' titles, and this is definitely one that is going under the radar for a lot of people. Just because it is an Apple Arcade mobile phone game is not to say that the quality that Platinum Games usually dishes out for most of their titles isn't there, because it most certainly is. As always, I want to say thank you so much to my Patreons. The support again is simple. Simply incredible, you guys are amazing. If you want to support the channel, the Patreon link is in the description down below. Also, be sure to follow me on my other social media platforms and sub a dub to the channel if you so please. However, guys, I'm Cynical. Hopefully, I'm having a fantastic day, and we'll talk real soon.